Hello again and welcome to Revit for BIM training seminar session 1 basics this is part 5 dimension equals a line tool and par parametric controls okay so let's jump on to where we were before we've just been looking at duplication of doors and the golden rule of duplication okay so I'm going to select one of these doors and delete it and I'm going to click on the other one and I'm going to drag it to within a meter of that corner so you can see some of the controls I have in 3D as well are similar to the 2D ones when you see blue lines they're called temporary dimensions uh, blue dimensions they're called temporary dimensions they're just for control okay we're going to look at a few ways of locking down and setting up a um, setting up a design so it's future editable as I said before um, editability is what um, what the most powerful thing is within the software future revisions very quick and easy so if you can set your pro projects up in that way um, it won't be a big ask when um, you're asked to make some changes okay so first things let's add windows windows are very similar to doors the only difference is they don't live on the floor they live at a certain height above whatever your floor height is um, uh, whatever your datum is whether you're on sit ground floor first floor etc so what I'd like you to do to start with is so click on we'll just have a single pane of glass and I want you to do something like this where you get some random heights and random spaces maybe add five windows in so you can see that they're all at different sizes now according to my um, view cube this is the south wall so I'm going to go to my south elevation I prefer doing this kind of work in south elevation looking at it in 2d I find I've got better control that way okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to lock these windows together and we're going to lock them both vertically and horizontally but the horizontal we will have an equal spacing and allow us to edit and you'll see what I mean as we go along let's choose one window and select it so let's choose the end one now sill height in the in the properties is currently uh, 414 millimeters let's change that to 1100 from the floor and apply that okay so we've got one object that is to the correct height let's call 1100 off the floor the correct height we're first going to use a very important tool called aligning so go to the modify tab and it's the large button here it's a very useful tool, useful in many different ways, but one of the one of the key strengths of it is you can lock objects together using the align tool, and that's what we're going to do. So this takes a little bit of practice, and I'm just going to change my wall type to something that isn't a brick. No, oh, sorry. I can't use that one because it's too thin okay so um, change to a partition wall okay so I've just got rid of my brick you don't need to do that yourself but this is just for clarity okay so again I've got an object that is to the correct height you can see again it's referenced to 1100 there I use my align tool so escape a few times to make sure nothing is selected using my align tool I'm going to turn on multiple align because we've got more than one object we're going to align with this window if it was just one object I didn't bother with this tick box okay I'm going to use the top face of the window so the top point of the window you can see it's highlighted in blue I'm going to click once then I'm going to find the top of that window I'm going to click again and then I'm going to lock one to the other and then I'm going to find the top of the next one and I'm going to lock that one. It's very important to remember to lock each time. I'm going to find the next one, I'm going to lock, and I'm going to find the next one, and I'm going to lock. That takes a little bit of practice, so you might want to pause, go back, and try that again. But what it allows me to do now is if I click and hold, I've parametrically linked these objects. 
they're not linked left to right they're not linked laterally they're linked vertically at the moment I've locked their heights together okay so that could be very useful if you've got many windows on a scheme you can lock them together there are other ways of doing this you can use um, an array tool but I'm trying to display the principle of aligning and locking and this is a quite a simple way of doing it okay so that's one way of locking objects together second way of doing it would be to use a dimension tool and we equals the dimension tool and I'll show you what I mean next okay so here's a dimension tool an aligned dimension tool now if I go near this wall here I get a preview of where I'm about to click so we want to grab the corner of the window grab the corner of that window and I'm going to keep going along and do a string dimension from the corner of each one I'm just zooming in and out as I go now you can keep going forever aligning but the moment you click off and you don't actually s snap to anything else you drop the dimension line so that is just a normal dimension line at the moment if I was to press print or drag this onto a, um, a sheet and press print I would see those dimensions their proper dimensions that's as opposed to the blue dimensions you've been looking at um, up to this point which are temporary dimensions which don't print okay the thing to look at and what we're going to do here is okay that's given us a list of numbers and I can change those by clicking and dragging if I wanted to I've just deselected it's not what I wanted to do okay what I want to draw your attention to is this underneath here now this is a parameter and by clicking on that parameter the dimensions the actual dimensions themselves disappear but it equals the gaps in between my windows so it's important not to go click 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 um, I've seen that done before uh, then this doesn't work you need to find this, the corner of each window to do this so what that means now is my windows are aligned vertically so the spacing is always going to be the same and I could control that by clicking on that dimension and say I wanted an overall distance of 9000 I would always get a good spacing but you can also see that my height is locked from the previous um, aligning lock that we did so that's a great way of aligning tools together but to go back to the duplication um, issue from previously what would have happened to one of my work colleagues if I ha if they had aligned the top of those aligned things to there excuse me vice versa aligned the top of the door to there that might be a relationship that they like now if I duplicate and change the height of my door you're going to also not only mess up their doors you're going to mess up all of their window alignments as well so you can see how this duplication issue is a very important issue so if you if you've missed that one go back to uh, the previous video to go over duplication okay so that's the end of this video please find um, the next one thank you